Can you say that again? Okay, this is so easy. Look at this. <laughs> So we're filming this for my mom because we told her it was an easy hike just to trick her to come with us. Yeah, it was going to be totally flat, no we told her incline. Totally flat. <clears throat> uh, and yes, actually I thought that it was going to be flat. I did not expect this kind of Tomb Raider stuff going on. But yeah, that's, that's us. Okay, here I go. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? You know that I'm in front. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're just going through and showing you just how much like in the jungle we are. <laughs> we're literally just going through a bunch of trees. And uh, yeah, we Went through a lot of crazy stuff, uh, but we should pretty much almost be there. It feels like it's almost the end of the trail, if that makes any sense to you guys. Yes. That's our motivation. After much trials and tribulation, we have made it. The blue pool, everyone. Right after we stepped into the blue pool, thinking we we're gonna get all refreshed, somebody was attacked. 
So I look was at the blood. My leech. Yeah, so immediately a leech latched onto her. Uh, luckily, there were some nice people who uh, took it off and then they uh, disinfected it and stuff. Now we're not so sure uh, about getting in the water. Because we're worried about getting more leeches. And it just keeps bleeding. So, uh, yeah. Maybe exercise caution at the blue pool because there are leeches. Alright, so are you all patched up? We're all patched up and we decided to finish off the trail and rest. Go, and go back and rest and eat. Another dangerous tree though, guys. Check this out. You really don't want to run into this thing. Very, very not friendly. The jungle is trying to kill you. Okay, here we go. Continuing on the path past the blue pool through the deep <laughs> jungle path. Full of trees, vines, spiders, ants, and all other kinds of hoo-ha that uh, might come and creep up on you. Are you feeling pumped for the rest of this hike? Uh, not sure after the leech hike. Yeah, she's she's feeling drained after the leech. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Bad joke, oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, we were gonna eat there. So we we're gonna make it to the front first, real quick, so that we could get proper first aid. Yes. Get out from there. Or at the very least, find a better spot to eat really quick. So we'll see, but very beautiful scenery. So you got all the little water droplets and stuff all on here. Very nice. Be careful with this kind of ground, guys. Uh, especially by all these trees. Sometimes there's holes in the ground. It's just dirt being held together by tree roots. So, take your steps carefully. Watch out for ants, spiders, mm -hmm. and snakes. Uh, yeah, just know that th this is not the zoo, uh, the animals will totally attack you, so yeah, but so far so good, only the one leech attack, <laughs> and she survived, now she can wear one of those stickers that says, I'm a survivor, no, I keep saying this, guys, but really, we are in it right now. It doesn't get much more in it than this. I mean, our path is not a path. It belongs to the jungle. Um, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Oh. Okay. Hole. And see, this is one of those holes we were talking about. Literally, she just stepped down and there's nothing. And there's a big hole over there. And that is a two inch ant right over there. Yes, two inch ants, two meter holes that lead to who knows where, probably the devil's workshop or some crap. Who knows? And more holes and stuff. This is actually a pretty treacherous part of the trail. So try and stick to the rocks. Okay, guys, I just want to give you a little warning. And I know these are very little baby cuts uh, on my hand. You probably can't even see them in the video. They do really hurt, though, because I was trying to cross this river. And I grasped 
onto this without looking, thinking it was just a uh, tree branch or a tree vine or something. Uh, I don't exactly know what this plant is, but as you can see, it has spines and spikes all on it. Uh, so just be careful when you reach this part of the trail. These are not friendly uh, playtime leaves. And, uh, you know, I was very lucky because I just literally grasped and let go quickly. But if I had, you know, done one of these or these trying to grasp stronger, then it would have sliced my fingers open. Uh, it's, it's really uh, quite sharp, even though it's just a leaf. Uh, so be careful, because if you get really badly cut out here, as you can see, we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, here's a bunch more right here by the trail. If you get cut really badly and you're bleeding, unless you have a first aid kit, which I recommend you to keep on hand, you know, you're going to be out of luck and it's going to really suck. Uh, but on a happier note, look at the cute little yellow mushrooms. Oh, they're so cute. Ah. Just another friendly spiky thing right here in the middle of the path. Uh, said it a million times, guys, but please use caution. Uh, is not safe. I swear this is like a level in Crash Bandicoot. Oh, I see the next one. I see the next one. You're safe. And they're holes, so... Avoid the spikes and avoid the holes. That's it. Yes, avoid the holy spikes. Okay guys, we made a major, major mistake. We just spent the last hour paying for it. After the blue pool, which is right through those, you know, it's right there. We came up across the log and went that way. We turned right because we saw a bunch of red markings. However, what we should have been looking for is the left path, which has red and white markings. So we went the wrong way for about 45 minutes and then backtracked for about 20 minutes when someone, a group of people came back and said, oh, this is the wrong way we called the front. Uh, we should have turned left back at the pool. Uh, so now we're exhausted, uh, running low on water. Uh, but luckily, we at least have our dragon fruit and our uh, kolomi and whatever this is that she got. So, we at least are going to be full of carbs and fruit juice um, until we get back over there. So, we thought we were going to catch the 130 bus. No way. We're catching the 5. It will drop now? Yeah, ah, okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Wow, that's so pro. <laughs> you should buy that oil. Yeah, what is that? Uh, what is that oil? Uh, oil bus oil. O-L-B-A-S. 
But any any hot oil is they, they will. Any hot oil, it'll oil. take yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Another one? Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh no. Wow. I have to be it's careful. Crazy. There's leeches everywhere. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> this place is trying to eat us. Okay. We finally are just about at the bottom. We just need to go down this really steep path and there's the beach. Uh, so we've almost finished guys. We're so sweaty, so gross, uh, ready to get back. Uh, so we'll see you at the bottom. You know what? We really haven't finished yet guys. I just wanted to point out one more time just how freaking crazy this trail is. I mean, this, this is that, I mean, this is some stones and boulders, whatever, we're bouldering. But when you come down here, and this, I know you probably can't see it from the perspective, but this is actually really high up. And these down here, it's all holes that go to who knows how deep. They're all around here. So if we miss a rock, we're probably gonna go into the abyss and never come back. We have to go over there, <laughs> all the way up to that. So this is some crazy shit. <laughs> More jungle trekking, Tarzan adventures. You guys, if you guys want to feel like, oh, see, I don't know if okay. step from the rock to here, she made it. If you guys want to feel like uh, you want, you're in a video game, uh, don't come, don't fire up the PlayStation, don't turn on the Nintendo. Uh, just freaking come to Damai Beach and. Uh, Camp for my uh, resort and camp and uh, hiking area. And now I'm being shooed to go forward, so bye. Yeah, this is just hit training, guys. Technical cardio for those people who want to sound extra cool slash like losers. <laughs> We finally made it out. Oh How do you feel? Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh. I'm so, so happy. Yes, this was a grueling, tactical, complicated, very dehydrating hike. But we are finally out. So we're going to go have... Yes. Super touristy restaurant, but we don't care. Yes, we're gonna get ourselves a coconut and get out of this obstacle course that we need to go through. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> we'll see you for lunch and then we'll wrap things up. Okay guys, we're back at the My Resort area. Uh, we're not staying at the resort anymore, but um, so we're just chilling here. A this, hike. Yeah, it, it was a hike. You know, honestly, there should be signs. Uh, that's not kid friendly. I don't think a child really dangerous could too. could do it. Yeah, it's really, really, really dangerous. Uh, I'm pretty experienced at hiking, so you know, even for me, I thought it was quite challenging and dangerous. And yeah. she's not really a hiker. 
Uh, so, you know, I think she adapted to it very well, but it, I think it was a, quite a struggle at first. It was, it was. But yeah. I enjoyed it, you know, it's beautiful, um, it's interesting, it's pretty nice, so. Yeah, yeah. what would you uh, rate this hike? I would out of rate 10. it because it was beautiful and because you're definitely immersed in the jungle, I would rate it in a seven i would rate it an eight if it wasn't so long like if it was just a two hour trail i would give it an eight but because it was too long so seven yeah for me i would give it a nine because it was very unique uh very technical challenging but really beautiful lots of different environments and different surfaces to climb and jump across and you know, with waterfalls and lakes and things. My main thing is that uh, it's supposed to be a trail, but this was like not maintained at all. There were fallen trees, you know, there's holes everywhere. If you fall in that hole, you're gonna get injured or you're gonna die, basically. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they need to have some kind of some more, kind of more clear yeah. path, I mean, even I've I've been hiking for years and years mm. and we got lost you know and a bunch of other people got lost too that are locals <clears throat> so it's not just us um, so yeah because of the lack of signage the the poor maintenance of the trail um, you know I have to give it a nine but really it was an amazing trail either way I really enjoyed it a lot you feel like you're in a video game, you feel like you're Tomb Raider, you're doing all kinds of cool stuff. And I think at the end, we feel like we accomplished something, right? Yeah, definitely feel like I accomplished something. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna leave you with this one, guys. And I think this may be our last vlog in Malaysia. Before we go to Bali. Yeah, so see you in Bali. Woo! <laughs> oh, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.